Welcome to Skinny TV on YouTube once again. Let's see some latest updates coming in from the camp of Black Stars team, Black Stars players, and some few other updates we need to know in this one. Black Stars players are cooking in this preseason. Yes, yesterday we had Mohamed Salisu who scored a fantastic goal for his club side AS Monaco, and we will talk about him in this update. Jordan Pierre Ayou in the ninth, so I'll say this morning. Yes, he also scored a fantastic goal for his club side Crystal Palace as they played against Overhampton Wanderers, and now he has scored in back to back games. For for his club side you see jordan are you is in some fantastic form well we will talk about him in this update thomas third party was also cooking for us now we will speak about him together with a lot of black stars players who are doing amazingly well for their club size in this update we also take a quick one from olympic games 2024 and a sad news we will also talk about that in this one before then if you have joined us take your time and like the video for me after liking if you are new subscribe to this channel Put us on post notifications so that anytime we drop the latest update, you'll be the first person to get and also enjoy. Leave your thoughts and comment in the comment box. After watching the video, share the link for others to also come here and enjoy the latest on this channel. Before we delve into the details, today is 1st of August 2024. So happy, happy new months going out to you. I appreciate all of you. Every time you have time to come and watch the video, you like, you share. I really appreciate you so guys thank you for always watching and i wish you all the best in this month everything you are doing we pray that everything is going to go on well in this month for you happy happy new months going out to you now quickly let me begin from here also give shout out to all those who commented under the last video so stick and stay with me yesterday find out they locked one to it as monaco and it was an interesting game see mohammed salisu was the highest rated player in the game and he did well salisu has not really been consistent with the black stars team so yesterday getting a good game i was really excited i watched about 15 minutes of that game and salisu was just solid making one clearance on the line and a whole lot of stuff for his club side as monaco was a great to watch first goal was caught by eleni kena yes by as monaco when a maripan also added a second mohamed salisu scored on the 67th minute for his club side to make it three in the game and um, we have um ivan usage who scored one consolation for final in the game so monaco 3-1 win in the game salisu played 89 minutes had a rating of 8.7 one goal for him as i said one clearance on the line he also made five clearances in total in the game block shot was one from the defender he made seven interceptions three tackles 91 touches completing 58 passes out of 69 and some few other stuff that he did in the game i don't really want to go through all those ones he's going to kind of like you know um delay here but salisu was solid at the back yesterday monaco played three back and he was playing in the left row or the left center back you know yes kind of so that is a great one for the player i really enjoyed him and i know he is improving as a defender now let me move away from him and talk about um you know arsenal they played against liverpool yesterday going through to the night i had to enjoy all those games because i wanted to watch our boys play yes it was liverpool 2 arsenal 1 and the first goal was scored by mohammed salah on the 13th minute fabio Carvalho also added a second on the 34th minute and arsenal got the consolation through kai havert on the 48th minute second half no goal for either side and it ended just like that thomas Partey started and played 78 minutes for his side arsenal and um he had touches of 58 44 completed passes out of 49 in the game he didn't score no assist one long ball and um, two long balls i beg your pardon when he completed one in the game dribble attempt was one ground was he went in for six and one two and did some few other stuff for his club side arsenal as he got a rating of 6.6 .6. it has been reported that he might believe in a club but for now he's playing integral role in the arsenal team so i believe Partey is going to stay and play next season for arsenal in the epl now after that game we saw crystal palace they also played against wolverhampton wanderers in the game and the crystal palace three wolves one yes crystal palace first goal was scored by our own boy yes jeffrey schlop he scored on the 33rd minute it was a fantastic shot from him guys go and watch that goal jeffrey schlop is really amazing but i don't know why i don't think the player will play for ghana because since 2020 that he decided not to play it has been back and forth back and forth i don't know but jeffrey slope was fantastic yesterday again he scored in the last game yesterday he scored just like jordan are you jordan added a second on the 48 minutes jordan came on after the first half so 46 minutes that he started playing two minutes into the game he scored the second goal for crystal palace then we also had um bueno who scored one goal for wolves on the 90th minute and 
Agbinone scored the third goal for Crystal Palace on the 90 plus four. So it ended 3 1 in favor of Crystal Palace. Jordan Ayu was really amazing. See, the goal he scored on the 48 minutes, um, um, he was, um, they actually lofted a long ball for him. The way he controlled, immediately he controlled the ball. Then, you know, he had already done the job. So he actually passed the ball um, through the legs of the goalkeeper into the post. It was really amazing from Jordan Ayu in the game. Tells you that right now his form is really improving after coming to play against Mali and Central African Republic. His performances were great. And now he's continuing it at the club side. And I think he should stay because we've actually read reports and you know it's in fact it is official leicester city has submitted 10 million euros um 10 million pounds yes to um crystal palace in order to sign jordan Ayu. but i believe he is going to stay and play under the new coach and that is it also in there now let me move away from him and talk about san jose versus la galaxy this is football list cup in usa group west two yesterday san jose lost two goals to one on the hands of la galaxy the away team where we had joseph pinto joseph pinto featured 90 minutes yesterday he didn't score no assist but he had two shots on target one shot off target one shot block dribble attempts were four he completed two big chances missed were two in a game for him as a striker of late he has been playing as the number nine for his side that's la galazi touch is 53 he completed 33 passes out of 34 um attempts which is 97 percent he also went on to do some few stuff when he got a rating of 6.9 as the man leading the lines for his side i'm um, talking of illegal in that particular group now let me move to serbia this boy i was here to bring you an update when he was transferred on loan ebenezer annan is a left back i know possibly he's going to join the black stars team so we need to be you know speak about those players ebenezer annan joined um you know krevna zevs that that is rest up a great and after joining them permanently the player has been loaned out to ofk belgrade in Serbia there and he has so far played two games for them his performances has been amazing they first won against Mlados by two goals to one when he had a rating of 7.6 yesterday he also played last two days rather yes he played and had a rating of 7.2 against Testelak when he they won by two goals to one and that is it also for him now um finally let me talk about um this one then we move on okay let me talk about some other news coming in from olympics yes let me look at ghana's four by 100 team yesterday they trained in paris with the botswana team and after training they had to show their dancer skills you know botswana wanted to show Ghanaians that they know how to dance but Ghanaian team they said no <laughs> they will show them how to dance let's enjoy this short video after that, we'll talk about the sad news and I'll give shout outs and we'll be out of here. so that is it also coming in from the ghana 4x100 team they will be competing on the 8th of august yes but before then we will have some few competitions so you can just check it on your screens from second we will have um you know some competitions in the third and it will continue just like that so ghana four by one and botswana team they are all african so when they met over there after training they wanted to show some skills and that is it also in there now finally let me wrap up with the sad news coming in from germany yes one boy newton opoku mensa a rising star from the fortuna de Sadov under 17 team um last tuesday sadly sadly the player passed away when he was drawn in a Duisburg lake and um you know that is it the player has passed away and that is it for the fortuna this sort of under 17 player what we will say is may his soul rest in perfect peace and our condolences goes to the family and friends of newton opoku Mason. the club's um board member for sports and communication klaus alofs has confirmed um this sad news that the player passed away 
on the evening of tuesday in germany so um you know the club has actually suspended all their training and friendlies everything that they will be doing all the activities have been suspended from under nine to the under 19 of fortuna de sadov and that is it so newton opoku mensa suddenly the rising star who many thought he will become a great player in the nearest future a Ghanaian, of course has sadly passed away and that is it also in there what are your thoughts let me know it in the comment box now let me give some few shout outs before i take leave of you shout out going out to betty johnson i appreciate you so much ion fanatabi is here ion i appreciate you bro um ima 8485 is also here gabison dc is here rashid Basson marcy i appreciate you um let me move on emmanuel mengel you also on this channel then alasan salam is here agana richard is also here Faisal, you're also on this channel i appreciate you steven kenyon you are here fiaco courage is also on this channel lucas trends yes my bro he's also doing amazingly well Vosia savannah is here S Romani Eric, you are back. S Romani, long time. I've seen you. That Hene is on this channel. Mr. Vordy is here. Isaac Yao is here. Adenyu Kwa Johannes Mauto, you are here. NS Tamete Fio, you are here. Jima Imano, you are also here. Imano Amane, Menalite TV. Yes, boss. I've seen you. Um, Jason Grant is also on this channel. Nanada Akon Ampim, Baba Oja Ake, Mabi, I appreciate you. Um, who again? Who again? Robert Shaggy is on this channel. Prince Ahiala is here. Imano Hayford is here. Uh, Middle, the Swampy. Yes, Middle, bro. What's up? I've seen you. Ahmed Tijani, um, Natana Diagram. Okay. Dacha Hine, Barak 6385. You are also back. Um, Bangalore City, you are also here. And Mr. Kwame Edu Janfi is also on this channel. I know most of you guys will come and watch and comments under the last video but these are the ones i have under the last video as of the time i'm recording this one around 10 30 a.m don't forget to always like the video for me subscribe if you are new put us on post notification for more updates on this channel due to scanning tv and of course we shall meet later